Good evening, and welcome to another scene in the living legend of the Five Rings. On this episode, we find a pair of samurai striking out from the hastily erected encampment that uh, Okoto Reo has set up for this expedition into the farmlands of the Crow Territory. And they have set their destination for Kamina Village in order to scout out the uh, the environs and uh, get a lay of the land and perhaps um, some idea of what they're up against because there really is no good intelligence from this place. So uh, they set out by pony uh, for a decent ride, about 30 minutes or so. Well enough away that uh, any forces in the village won't be able to see that there is an encampment of samurai nearby. And the rolling plains sort of give way to an outcrop of several large hills that sort of shield this village from um, prying eyes on the plains. How do you approach? Well, unless Sojiro has uh, an opposition to it, Makoto just kind of wants to study the village once they get to a point where they can see it. Well, so, uh, Sojiro is uh, much the same. He's kind of a little more focused on being on horseback. It's, uh, it's new. That's fair. We should probably go ahead and leave our horses back here to uh, before we go climbing around on rocks to look at things. It's fine. These are little Rokugani ponies. They are nothing like the massive, powerful steeds that the unicorn have. And... Uh, you remember having to ride one at some point, you know, to to pass your gimpuku. Mm -hmm. um, although uh, for the crab, that's probably not a very common occurrence that one needs to ride a pony. <laughs> but uh, you um, tie them up uh, on a uh, small dead tree that's that's sort of in a uh, little stand of uh, uh, brush and um, yeah uh, from where you are um, again you, you see some of these hills and coming out from behind those uh, the, the, the natural terrain you sort of begin to see a uh, a leveling off the the ground is sort of uh, rolling downwards into uh, an area of cultivated um, cultivated patties and um, you see that uh, uh, there currently isn't anything in them and instead like they're they're completely dry um, and instead you see uh, sort of golden grain coming out of it that that isn't uh anything like the uh the grass that you're uh that you're in these, these uh, rolling rolling fields of grass mm -hmm. um and you do see uh the the pinpricks of, of villagers sort of moving in and out of them um tending to them but the village itself is sort of concealed by these uh larger hills Makes a very good defensive uh, shield. Can we uh, roll or just look around to see if we can see anything like people posted as scouts or overseers? Um. Yeah, you can. You can make a a, a tactics awareness roll. Which dice roll are we in? Uh, we are in dice roller one. Let me see. Uh, 
And if we don't have tactics, can we roll straight awareness? Um, it would be perception. Perce- oh, yeah, perception, sorry. Yep. Where's my sheet? Don't you curse at me. <laughs> yeah, seven. Let's go. Tactics. Oh, real quick, uh, what was the TN in case of race? That's my bad. Uh, TN, uh, TN10. TN7? TN10. Oh, sorry. When you say tactics, do you mean battle? Is tactics I mean, a specific? I mean lore. Lore okay. tactics. That I don't have. So just, uh, okay. Yeah, what was that? Which dice roll are you in? <laughs> what am I doing? Everything wrong. You're in dice roller too. Silly goose. Mm-hmm. Okay. What did you say the TN was? Ten. Okay. So, hey. as you guys approach, you sort of come to the agreement that, that you should keep your eyes open for anyone that might be uh, posted um, as a scout. And Sojuro is not uh, the most... Uh, proficient with looking at uh, veg- uh, vegetation, a bunch of tra- terrain with vegetation. For crablands are rocky and dusty and and gray. But um, Makoto is a little better versed in the more lush areas of Rokugan, and uh, she doesn't really think that there's anybody on these hills just giving them a, a brief glance and and sort of scanning for places where she might uh, she might herself take up a, a lookout post she communicates as much um and then she reaches back and uh starts to uh, prepare her bow Shall we get a closer look? Um, yeah, when he sees her preparing her bow and mentions as much, um, yeah, he'll, he'll kind of reach back towards his uh, his, his tetsu bow, pull it out slowly, and, and just nod. She uh, glances at the tetsu bow and gives him kind of a, a sideways smirk, like, let's do this kind of thing. <laughs> Did you see the music? It was uh, impressive. It was something <laughs> messy. Um, so, so how do you approach the village? Well, we're not sneaking. But uh, Makoto wants to stay back far enough that uh, it would be difficult to take her out with a sling. Um, she guesses Ma- that mainly what I'm probably- mainly mm-hmm. what I mean is is are are you approaching from the the fields, which is generally flat terrain, um, with some grass, or are you approaching from the uh, more um, rugged area? Opinion, Sojuro? Um, you said the grass area or the rugged? Mm-hmm. Like, they're, they're the the uh, rugged terrain sort of like encircles the village, but but only about halfway. It's like a semicircle. And then, like, it, it kind of opens out the plains that are being cultivated. And you can see the um, 
the sort of like little little uh, um, um, levees that make up the uh, the patty formations, and inside of it you see a bunch of golden grain and um, villagers sort of tending to it. And yes, there is some cover in that direction. It also gets you closer to the the peasants. Um, who you know obviously aren't your enemies um or maybe they are you don't know you're not you're not really sure the uh, the lay of the land but um you can approach them that way or you can try the more rugged approach of trying to like climb these hillocks mm. i think the question is mostly she says looking out over the village which you can't see yet Oh, sorry. Looking out over the fields. Whether we wish to, uh, how soon we wish to speak to the villagers. If they are enemies, we might do well to go and mounted. To require going through the fields. Perhaps we should um perhaps we should look before uh, engaging I think is the word I want to use here. Yeah. Sounds good. She glances at him. Um kind of She's got questions in her eyes. We're here to get information after all, I think oh. if we Get with our eyes before we get with our mouths. Of course. What sort of information do you look for? I suspect you are more skilled than I am at scouting. Simply wishing to get the uh, lay of the land before any moves are made. If we know where the peasants are before we approach them, or... We do we know that they're? Eh, you say it's it's left to be uh, out of character. You say it's left to be assumed that the peasants would be over there. You can see people in the fields, and you aren't really sure what sort of force you're facing. You don't know if it's samurai, if it's bandits, if it's peasants. You're you know that that have revolted. You don't really know. You just know that there is a force occupying the village. Um, yeah, it'll just mention, um, perhaps we might get a better idea of who it is we're facing, as well as anything we might not be able to see from where we're currently standing. She nods, but the question is still there. What exactly he wants to, like, she's, well, she'll just say it. What is it you suggest? Nilla uh, gesture to the uh, to the rough road. Okay. So he's sorry. I'm confused. Maybe I'm just not picturing it. Is I'm he confused. wanting to go up among the rocks? Yeah. Okay. So just to, to maybe voice what people are thinking and and can't quite um, get across. So what your suggestion is is that you would like to go to a high vantage point in order to observe the village. That. Okay. Okay. All right. So um, if that is the plan of action, both of you approach the more rugged terrain sort of encircling the village, and uh, you will need to climb it. Please make me an athletics strength check. Is there a uh, modifier for the armor? Um, are you wearing your armor? Yes. Uh, 
Let me check. I'm um, I I am, but I have way of the crab, so I don't care. It says it ignores TM penalties for wearing heavy armor for everything but stealth. What's that? Uh, the uh, the Hitabushi rank one skill. Oh. As I was saying, he is wearing his armor, but it, it ignores TM penalties except stealth. Nice. Nice. Okay. Let's see. That sounds about right. Armor. And what sort of armor are you wearing? Heavy armor. Assuming that my armor was able to be fixed after it got squeezed. That's actually something I forgot to ask. We'll, uh, we'll hand wave it. You're, you're no filthy sparrow samurai. You're a crane. Mm -hmm. you, have, you have cuckoo. Mm -hmm. Does a 58 work? In Jesus my, Christ! I hadn't even I haven't even thought about the DN yet. That's okay. <laughs> I, I wasn't gonna race. You're good. Um. Amazing. Okay. These are strength athletics. It is. It is a ten fifteen. Okay. For me as well? For both of you. Okay. And you said strength athletics? Yes. Okay. Three exploded tens. Seems good. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. Hey, look oh, at that! <laughs> <laughs> so Sodra leaps up like a little goat. <laughs> Makoto struggle buses. I wouldn't say that he he leaps up. It's clear that that he is very capable of uh, climbing this terrain. Uh, after all, uh, the Hitabushi are very well versed in climbing walls, so this can't be that much different. <laughs> really and truly, though, um, he he has sort of kept himself in restraint. And both of you um, climb up at a, at a slow but steady pace. It takes you almost an hour to navigate this terrain, especially with uh, with all of your gear and such. Um, and and then at the uh, the the top, sort of settle in and find yourself a, a good vantage point from which you can um, you can observe the village. Um, but once there, um, you look down and you see a small ramshackle gathering of buildings um, loosely arranged around like a center path that sort of like cuts a horseshoe in and out um, of the, uh, you know, sort of following the contours of this hill. And um, probably around 20 or 30 structures all told. Um, it's a fairly substantial uh, substantial little village. You've seen smaller. Um, you can see one of the buildings sort of stands out. It has um, very clear indications that it is a sort of a, a sake house and, and restaurant um, for um, the locals and, and whatever travelers they get. And um, that seems to be uh, sort of the the only uh, uh, structure that is uh, um, intended to, to cater. But um, otherwise, the rest look like um, habitation for, uh, for for the Haman, and um, sort of at a, a kind of. In a in a distant uh, in a distant uh, area, you see, kind of kind of separated from all the the other buildings, you see a um, rather neglected looking large structure. Um, it, it's a good, probably 
500 to 600 yards sort of away from all the rest of the structures out past the um the the fields um sort of where it can kind of oversee all of that and uh it it looks uh relatively abandoned from from this vantage point the village itself has a bit of bustle to it there are several hammond kind of going about their business um would each of you please roll me an um let's see a lore heraldry awareness roll please and we don't have it in straight awareness um yeah what's our tn uh tn 20. <laughs> Holy shit. Nope. Wait, the tent, tent doesn't explode. That's right, because I don't have it. Never mind. Correct. So it's just um, a 13. Never mind. Got too excited. Sad day. Okay, so, so both of you um, kind of kind of look over the, uh, the people going about their business. You see a few of them are armed, but... You're, you, you can't really make out any distinctive features about them that would give you any indication as to um, their identity. And, uh, you know, they, they, they could be... They could be samurai. They could be peasants. Um, it's just... It's really difficult for you to say. They don't, they don't have any distinctive markings or colors that would stand them out as great clan samurai. Mm. Do any of them appear to be... I mean, there's Heyman running around. Do any of them appear to have nothing better to do than walk around with weapons? Um, several of them. Okay. Sojourner will kind of confirm this out loud and just say, do you make anything of, um, of their armor that they're wearing? Kind no, of they aren't wearing armor. Okay, my bad. They they ha they have weapons, but they they are not wearing armor. Mm -hmm. I guess he'd ask uh he'd ask them out. What what do you make of them? Just kind of squinting, probably probably crouching. No insignia that I know. Mm. Me neither. Um, do the ones who are armed. Can I guess or roll something to try and tell what their encounters with others look like? Like, do people shy from them, from them, or? Hmm, let me see. Make me an investigation perception check. Oh man, I have so few dice for these. What's my TN? Your TN is going to be 15. Okay. Uh, just a check everyone can make. Um, it's specifically for uh, Makoto. She is the one looking for it. Gotcha, gotcha. Forgot the roll. Oh, I got distracted. There was a hair in my keyboard, and I thought it was an ant. And I was busy feeling really proud of myself for not making any noises. Hey! Okay. So, after you observe the um the men and women that are sort of stalking around with 
with weapons, um, it becomes clear to you that the Heyman tend to... Um, they, they, they don't seem afraid of them. So it's hard for you to think that they would be samurai. It's not impossible, but um, generally speaking, peasants under an invading force mm -hmm. tend to be very um, uh, deferential. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, doesn't. You know that that's not a uh, a guarantee that they aren't, but um, it's definitely intriguing um, because they themselves do not seem to be um, doing anything that looks productive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the peasants don't don't seem afraid of them either. She's going to settle herself on the rock a little better and point that out to Sojuro. As she watches them move around. Hmm. I suspect that means that we will be, uh, going up against opposition from... She counts 20 sides. I see. How long do you observe the village? And what exactly are you looking for? So we've checked um, we've checked over the buildings. Um, we've kind of gotten a lay of the land and we've gotten a better look at the um, at the um, uh, the forces. Um, is there anything, I don't know, maybe worthy of, of note? Or um yeah, yeah. Well, you um, you come from a clan that is uh, very well versed in battling, um, you know, large groups of enemies, and uh, also uh, you have rubbed shoulders with many a Hir Hiruma scout, um, who are renowned trackers and and scouts and all that. Um, simply seeing what you see doesn't give you an entire picture of the forces present. There could be more that are out and away. Um, there could be some that are currently in buildings. Um, it would make sense if you want to get a full idea of sort of what you're facing to, um, kind of case the place for a while and you know, kind of either mentally or if you have uh, the tools, seeing as how you are a, uh, a poet, you definitely have writing utensils to make notes of uh, how many individuals who seem to be uh, a threat. Thank you for the common sense, Story Dollar. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, I am... Um... Don't know how um, how long Makoto's willing to wait, but um, so long as there is a um, a fresh bush to piss in, uh, Sojiro has time. She is not in a particular hurry, um, unless we have orders from our lovely uh, Rayo. She... Rayo wishes for you to do the best job you are capable of doing. <laughs> Excellent. And she is enthusiastic about uh, being thorough. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you asked how long we wait. The structure in the distance that looks large and abandoned. Mm -hmm. um, can we get a sense from here what that structure might be? Uh, it looks like it might be a landlord's house. Okay. Okay. And it stands to reason that if there is a occupying force, that maybe that person might not have been very lucky. Sure. Sure. Um, 
Yeah, Sojuro is... Sorry, I forgot my character's name. Just gonna pick your character's name, because it's nice. Right, Look sure. So Irene is going to... Yeah, exactly. You <laughs> fuck me. Um, Makoto is willing to wait quite a long time, as long as they're still getting information. Um, do you have an idea how long Sojuro would like to wait? Or should I ball uh, them? Is, is it right if we ask in increments, like, what happens after the first hour, what happens after... Like, etc.? Um, so, after the first hour, you... After after having observed the uh, the forces present, you make note of um, four very distinct individuals who are sort of uh, stalking around, um, looking like they can you know handle themselves in a fight, and um, particularly that. Um, all of them seem to uh, uh, communicate with each other and um, seem to ignore the uh, the peasants as a whole. And after a while, one of them, um, after after the first hour, one of them sort of pisses off to the uh, to the uh, sake house and. and after about another ten minutes, a, a different one sort of emerges and begins to kind of wander the street. Um, after the second hour, you have made note of five distinct individuals. However, additional, additional or is that one added to the previous four? Just the one added to the previous four. Okay. Um, but as you guys are are sort of sitting there making notes. Um, Sojuro, you see the uh, shining glint of a metal blade tip sort of like move into your peripheral vision. Isn't someone snuck up on us? Mm-hmm. Oh! Do I notice? Um, yeah, for sure. Because <laughs> she, doesn't, uh, she doesn't waste time. She, she just sort of growls at both of you. What are you doing here? And you see this individual. Where is it? And uh, she is wearing the colors of the crow. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> he the son will let the more refined among him do the talking. Um, does the crow have a, like, a clan name? Uh, hmm, Kuro. Okay. Is it polite to call someone kuro or crow -san? Does it matter? Um, Kuro is the family name. Oh, okay. Um, it's sort of presumptive to use someone's family name, um, especially if they don't have any moms oh, on their okay. armor, which this one doesn't, doesn't have a family mm -hmm. mom. Um, so it would be more polite to say Croson. Okay. Good afternoon, Croson. We are enjoying the view. Where are you? I've been looking at it for the past five days. I and find it rather you... sickening. Indeed. What have you seen that we have not yet seen? A better question is, is what are two great clan samurai doing here? Besides enjoying the view, I suppose? I imagine that enjoying the view and interest in coming to village is related in this instance. You are correct. We're here on the business of the Emperor, sent to enjoy the view, until we had more information to offer on the view. But what a view. For five days. There's not much to see for five days. This is my village. Only for the last five days? 
not for the last five days. It was my village before it was taken from me. I see. Then perhaps we serve the Empire together in this instance. I suppose so, but I do wonder why the Emperor has sent the two of you. Are there more of you? Do you find us unfit to the task at hand? There are several individuals down there. Are there more of you? Up here, no. Elsewhere? But we have not come alone. And from whence have you come? Is it Kayodan Kuro? Is that right? Yes. We have that come is, from... Hmm? That is correct. We have come from Kayodan Kuro. She looks surprised at that. And you? I lived here. Until okay. these, this filth took it from me. Does your family remain? She looks back down. Make me a courtier awareness roll. Okay. It's Tien. Uh, Tien is against hers, so. Rolled super average tonight. Oh, balls. She says, um, my family is fine for the time being. Makoto nods. Um, she is possibly, uh, at this point, she's making sure she doesn't take too much of her attention off the village. We are kind of up here, and she doesn't want to be spotted without knowing that she's been spotted. So... She will yeah. keep an eye on. I, I was about to say, if you uh, if you wanted to split that up, Sojuro mm -hmm. will uh, will keep an eye on. Okay, that's even better. If he looks like he's uh, dedicating himself to that, Makoto <laughs> will dedicate herself and all of her two dice to uh, this conversation. He'll give uh, he'll give her that uh, that furrowed brow nod, <laughs> and then like <laughs> look back like. You talk. I look. <laughs> there is no problem with village for a moment. <laughs> so the old crow sent you. Yes. Can I? Do I need to roll something? Because I mean, the old crow kind of did. Like. Mm. Yeah, you can roll me a. Uh... I know exactly who he's talking about. A lore heraldry intelligence role. Um, TN5. Actually, oh, TN, TN10. Okay. Lore heraldry intelligence. Got it. The name doesn't sound familiar. Or the nickname. <laughs> Dang it. Is it is it safe for Sojuro to assume that's the uh, the lady from Poetry Night? Mm. You uh, are welcome to make the roll as well if you wish. Oh, no. She said that's um, ten. ten. Lore heraldry intelligence. Twenty-two show underscore dice. Silencio. Oh, that's right. Whoops. <laughs> I feel you. I can do this. 
I'll just copy the previous one and swap out a number. Fifteen. Wow. Sojuro, in your time in Kyudin Koro, you have heard mention of the old crow, and uh, you know that to be the uh, former champion of the crow, who is now dead. Oh. It's strange that uh, he would send great clan samurai. But I guess I shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. I am ashamed of the state of the village. And while I would offer the three cuts to my lord, I feel as though I must reclaim the village first. Makoto turns and looks out over the uh, the village without saying anything. Well, if you will, uh, if you have more information to offer, there are others who would hear it. Uh, out of character, Andrew, how long has it been since they had word from here? Uh, it's been about a month. And she just said five days, or did she? She's she's been watching for five days. Okay. At least that's what it sounded like. We wow. were led to understand it's been some time since the village has heard, since uh, Kate and Kuro has heard from the village. It has. She looks back with kind of a and sort of expression. There is much to tell. Come. I have been uh, watching for long enough. I think I can inform you of what's arrayed against us. Are there others and, you missed? And we can do it better in a uh, more comfortable environment. Are there others you should uh, inform before we go? I would not want to worry anyone who might think you're missing. No. They are where we are going. Where we are going? I see. She, po she points to the uh, rather derelict looking large house. Makoto glances at Sojuro. Sojuro's um, now kind of turning away when, um, or uh, uh, turning away from where he was previously keeping watch and turns towards the party. And um, his <laughs> expression is, uh, is, is just firm. And um, he just, he kind of nods. But there's, um, if I have to roll something, I don't know, but it's... <laughs> he, he has done a concern. I don't think there's anything you need to roll. Makoto, um... Glances down at the house. And then back to, uh... Did she give her name? Not yet. Okay. Um, she will offer a bow and say, um, I am Daidoji Makoto. She, the second you, you sort of go to bow and you say, I'm Daidoji Makoto, she, she kind of like holds up her hand and says, there's no need for ceremony here. What is your name? Koro Kaede. Thank you. I am uh, Hida Sojiro. Please lead the way. She nods and then sort of turns and makes her way uh, rather soundlessly through the, the brush as though she is an expert in, in these hills. And... Um, 
begins to sort of take a, a covered approach down towards uh, towards that structure. How far of a distance is she keeping between us? Or I suppose is that up to us? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's up to you. Um, it doesn't look like she's, she's like, wanting to, to maintain conversation the entire way. So, Joel, uh, <clears throat> I like to keep some distance um, and um, might even make a, a physical gesture of such. It's just kind of a, a light, quick um, tap on um on uh, Makoto's uh, bicep before they, they take off. Just kind of a a kind of a gesture with the head that, that says like let's let's stay behind a little bit. Makoto n- notes that and uh, answers with like a smirk that's kind of rueful. Which makes more sense once she starts to pick her way down the uh, down the path. She is not as nimble as a goat, nor as silent as the uh, experienced crow. And so she moves with rather stately grace through the bad terrain. Mm. Um. So she will. Uh... <laughs> Um, Sojourner will keep his voice down to a, to a whisper. And, um, and he'll say, um, should we, should we tell, um, what's your name? The other crow? Coyote. Should we tell Kaede son? Tell her what? About the crow champion, the old crow. Now he's no longer with us. Mm-hmm. The old crow. Oh, tragic. I do not wish to disrespect. Um, oh. Fuck. <laughs> We're... Yeah, there it is. Kaede? Mm-hmm. Do not wish to disrespect Kaede by withholding this information. As someone important of their clan has passed. At the same time, would their mind be otherwise compromised? With this news. I understand your concern. I'm more concerned about skulking about in abandoned buildings. Oh yeah, that's important too. (laughs) She, uh keeps walking, keeps following, kind of frowning slightly. I do not wish to give the wrong impression about why we are here. Um, once they get down kind of I assume they're moving out of sight of the fields in the village. Mm-hmm. She's going to uh, stop and wait for Kaede to look back. Kaede does not look back. She makes her way all the way through the grass to the building. Is she sneaking? Not particularly. Or can she just move? She's um, moving. She's moving quickly. She's keeping down. It's borderline, but it's not uh, not true stealth per se. It might be. Does she seem unconcerned? I mean, 
does she seem unconcerned that others might notice her? Or she's pretty obviously like she. She seems very concerned about something. Truly, I think it is best if she accompanies us. I agree. <clears throat> not to say. I do not wish to be taken hostage by a crow. I still welcome the challenge. My face is rather hard to be relieved of in the forest. <laughs> she turns to eyeball him. Um, kind of can't help but smirk. He's smirking some to you. <laughs> well, perhaps you will uh, go and tell her that she should instead come back out here and we will take her to our camp. If you do not return, I will send, I will bring others back to fetch you. In due time. You are truly a friend. <laughs> is he grinning when he says that? Yeah. Because she is, she's smirking pretty broadly at this point. <laughs> Vanilla. He'll nod and take that risk. Mm -hmm. If you prefer, I'm more than happy to go in your stead. Oh, no. Someone must uh, rally the troops in case uh, I do not come back. She stops and glances around, um, kind of puts out a hand to stop him for a moment. Um, can she do a look to see if they are being watched by others? Because the one chick snuck up on them. She wants to check and see whether there are maybe others in the grass. Sure. Um, Intelligence or a perception investigation. Okay. Go. Uh, excuse me. Oh, there we go. You don't see anybody that, that is watching you. And you're quite a quite a ways away from, from the village proper, so mm -hmm. you don't think anybody in the village would be able to see you from where you are. But it is a good few hundred yards to jog through in order to get to the place that Kaede disappeared into. If you're not ambushed, come back out quickly and tell me, and I will join you. Watch for my signal. I will give you a thumb. <laughs> she nods, crosses her arms, and waits. And Sojiro puts his tetsubo on his back, bends his knees, and uh, moves. Okay. So whenever you reach the uh, the building, um, it, it doesn't it doesn't look terribly different than any of the buildings in the village in terms of sort of how decrepit it is. This is not a rich town, and it it sort of meets those standards. Um, and the door uh, leading into the back of the structure has been left open. He'll um he'll peek inside, like he'll put his uh his hands on the doorway rather unceremoniously. Uh, when you peek inside, you see um, Kaede um, ushering a uh, 
a pair of children with some bowls of rice um, into uh, into another room. And we'll um, we'll reach a we'll take a step back and uh, raise a thumb in the air. Uh, and up to, sorry. And that, as you do, she she sort of reappears from from the the side wing and uh, looks at you and, and says, "It's not much, but it's what I can offer." Please, we have much to talk about. Is that a thumb that Makoto can see? Yes. Okay. She comes stumping over the grass. More quickly. So she Mm -hmm. goes about um, kneeling down, and and Sojuro, you notice that that the uh, the uh, pit that would normally have a a flame underneath it to to cook the rice um, is stone cold, and the uh, the rice within looks very cold indeed. Um, and she, she doesn't even like give you a chance to ask. She, she just says, it's not ideal, but it keeps attention away. We have to port the rice away from the village in order to cook it. Very wise. Uh, can I eat a son or uh, croissant? Yep, croissant. We oui. oh, my It's about to say we don't speak French. <laughs> Those who took the village, they're not troubled that uh, you remain here, so long as you are discreet. Well, I do not know what they think of me. They might think I'm dead when I encountered them. I was left for dead. I awakened some days later. Managed to crawl away. For whatever reason, they have not taken up residence I do believe that uh, the solitary nature of the building does not uh, take them too far away from the sake are they bandits they're ronin ronin filth I see where do they stay Wherever they please. Like dogs they are. <clears throat> There's seven of them in total. We saw them uh, rotate their watch. I, um... Do you know where they stay in, um, in hiding in between? Question mark. As I said, they stay where they please. They... Mm-hmm take up residence in whichever home they desire. The Heyman will not challenge them. So we have seen. Such happens when the Emperor's Law goes away. Peasants and bandits alike seem to... uh, very quick to take advantage. How long has this village lost, lacked the Emperor's Law? Hard to say now. A month? Two? Um, when she says when the Emperor's Law goes away, do we have a guess as to what that might mean? Um, or or no. 
it, it's pretty clear that she doesn't like wander around town. Mm -hmm. So if she thinks the Ronin think she's dead, then the peasants almost certainly think she's dead. And therefore there is no samurai to own the village. You. Okay. Let's see. So she's probably referring when she says the law going away, she's probably referring to the attack. Right. Okay. Um, okay. I thank you for your hospitality. If you'll come with us. I can't. Why? My family. They're here? They are. Are they injured? No. They cannot come? I will not force them to leave. This is our home. She nods. Are they in hiding? Or do the villagers know that they live? We're all in hiding. She nods. In plain sight. It's an effective <laughs> tactic sometimes. Yes. I suppose it is. Glances at Sojuro. How's he looking? Oh, he's um, biting his tongue a little bit. She's going to raise an eyebrow, kind of invite him to speak. Can I... Kind of... Um, give... Mm. Say... um. <clears throat> he'll up. <laughs> he won't say that. No, he'll up. <laughs> yeah. Think for a second and say, yeah. So you know of seven men that um, that do their patrol. Um, men and women. Uh, men and women, sorry. Men and women uh, that do their patrol. Yes. And the Haman. And perhaps others among the peasantry. Mm. Wow. From what I've gathered, they seem to have ingratiated themselves to the villagers. It would, in fact, be a bountiful harvest indeed when you don't have to pay taxes. Hmm. This is the only way they've ingratiated themselves. It serves their purposes. They feed the Ronin. The Ronin live like kings. And the king of heaven goes hungry. Indeed. She nods. Would that I could have sent word sooner. Or at all. How long ago did the uh, old crow die? Mm, something like six months. You have not been in close contact with Caden Kuro? No. that unusual are you asking the DM or are you asking her uh, actually both can I ask both of you separately because Makoto wants to know but I also want to know what Makoto would guess um, to Makoto Kaede says 
It's been perhaps longer than I would like. Their father is stationed at Kudankuro, after all. Does she say their father? Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Huh. But things have been rather tumultuous in the village as of late. And I have no means, no safe means to get word out. I had mm -hmm. been forming a plan to try and eliminate them myself, but my death would be meaningless. Indeed. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, we will be returning to Kyudenkuro with a message. What do you wish to say? She, she just sort of stares at you for a moment. Were, were you not here to aid me? Uh, have we brought runners? Mm, no. Okay. We are the, um, scouting party. You did say there were more of you. <clears throat> there are. We will return. Well then. That is good to hear. If you wish, you can partake of what I have. It's merely some dried fish and some cold rice, but it is earnest. So Chiro's stomach just kind of yeah. turns for a second. <laughs> Your hospitality does you credit. We cannot eat. I understand. You're certain you do not wish to come with us. We will aid you and your family as best we can to move quietly. I await your return with great anticipation. She nods. Do you believe that the way in which we entered would be the wisest way upon our return? Or is there perhaps a better path to bring more? I would hope that you have a contingent of Ashigaru And more samurai than they have. That is what I hope. A contingent is how many? They usually come in squads of like 10. Do we have squads of 10? You have some, for sure. Back at the camp. Mm -hmm. I think uh, a Kotoreo said he was... Um... Uh, if if I remember correctly, and if you'll allow me to disseminate out, out of character, ST. Sure. Um, um, Makoto Reo's expectations were like seven men, and like he, he's trying to do it with less. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, just a quick look around the house. Do we see signs of habitation? Can we try and guess how many people are here in the house? Um, yeah, sure. There are, um, like I said, you, you notice that the, the fire pit is cold, but there is a tangible, like, pot of rice 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, there seem to be um, some used dishes that haven't been cleaned. Um, you notice that there there were some some clothes lined out on a rack behind the 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 house. Like yeah, it seems like there are people here. You can hear voices from the other room, children. Oh wow! Okay. With a quick guess, um, hearing the voices, can Makoto guess how many there are? Mm-hmm. How many would you guess are there? Two. Okay. Okie doke. Um, yeah. Is there anything further we should know? Before we return to make plans. These men are ruthless, but I don't think that they, uh, these men and women are ruthless, but I don't think that they will um, stand around for a, uh, an actual fight. Mm. Good to and know. I have and I have seen them gathering pack animals. They may be intending to leave. Ah, uh, with the harvest, no doubt. Correct. And that would be insult to injury. Very much so. We will be swift. Thank you for your help. I've never met a great clan samurai before. What do you think? <laughs> Makoto does not laugh. You have exceeded my expectations. <laughs> Smiles a little bit. Bows, uh, bows his head with uh, gratitude. We will be fighting alongside each other. I will do my best. Until then, and he, uh, he reaches into his um, uh, into his uh, his armor and um, pulls out his um. Be a journal or just like a collection of, of, of papers? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's probably just a bundle that, that's bound by, by a string. Mm. He um, goes through the motions of untying the string and, um, and uh, takes a good little uh, thicket of some of, the, uh, some of the pages that haven't been written on and uh, offers them over to um, Kedasan. Says, um, for yourself and the children until the aid arrives. She smiles and, and says, I thank you for your gift, but there really is no need. We'll be fine. He nods and um just offers it once more and says, are you certain? I cannot stop you from leaving. Perhaps you would like to prepare your letter to their, to their father ahead of time. She smiled. Perhaps so. Sojourner will uh, set them down. I imagine they're they're sitting at a table now. Um, I don't I don't think that either of you have sat. Mm-mm. Okay, yeah, no. He'll he'll set it down at the nearest uh, like tabletop or countertop surface. Mm-hmm. She's refused three times now, right? 
Um, she, she, she basically has kind of like sworn off like the, the traditional, like, Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Mm -hmm. Like she, she, we, we, we are, if we get discovered, we're, we're dead. Like it's not, you know, samurai is good, but she, she might be dead after it anyway. So. (laughs) Gotcha. Okay. And then Makoto will uh, turn and prepare to uh, actually sneak back to the ponies. Mm-hmm. Good luck. Be swift. And you as well. I'll find you. <clears throat> What'd she say? I'll find you when you arrive. She nods. We will look for you. And so the two scouts quietly make their way back to their ponies and presumably set back towards camp. If they have any other thoughts they wish to express. There's one more thing I want to look at, and I don't have any dots in farming but can I get a good idea of the crop yield? Can I roll to kind of get an idea of whether uh, this place you, seems healthy? You can roll intelligence mercantile. Okay. I'll just straight intelligence then. What's a TN? Uh, TN 15. Would Makoto like assistance? Yeah, she'll she'll uh, murmur to Sojiro that kind of a, what do you think? Do you think that these fields are are adequate for this land kind of thing? Hope you do better than me. Nope. Seems good. <laughs> you are <laughs> you are samurai. You are not uh, merchants. <laughs> so. These these things are, are best left to the uh, to those who who get into the dishonorable number practices, <laughs> like your Daidoji Trading Council. <laughs> Excellent. Sojiro says, "Then I don't know. Those kids looked fed. <laughs> Seems good. Oh, they didn't look well fed. They, they oh. looked a little hungry. <laughs> Shit. I don't know. Those kids looked hungry." <laughs> But with that, I think that we can end the scene. Thank you, players playing. Watch, watching. Good night. <laughs>